In 1986, 25-year-old Rodney Shako and his friend David Sager rode in the last seats of the Mindbender, the world's tallest indoor roller coaster. They were excited and looking for a night of fun. As soon as the coaster started moving, Rodney felt the car sway over the railing, but it was too late to stop the ride. Within seconds, they were moving at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour, and then everything went black. The last car of the coaster struck a pillar and thrown everyone inside to the ground. All of the passengers were dead, except Rodney. Was he just lucky, or was it a last-minute decision that saved his life? Here's how to survive falling off a roller coaster. Roller coasters originated in Europe in the 19th century. Early thrill-seekers used to ride them at about 80 kilometers per hour. Modern roller coasters move on the same principle of gravity, but these modern machines can speed along at up to 240 kilometers per hour and free fall from a height of 140 meters. Can you imagine being thrown off one of these machines? Unfortunately, some people have been, and a few have survived. Today, we've compiled the top three most incredible stories of these survivors. Pay attention, because you might learn something that could save your life one day. I got you. How quickly can you stop a roller coaster in an emergency? How can you tell if something is wrong before the ride starts? And what can you do to survive such a fall? But before we dive into these terrifying accidents, let's see how safe you are right now. Yes, you, at home, watching this video on your phone or computer, may be surrounded by threats. But don't worry, as always, we have just the solution you need. Atlas VPN is here to help you survive those online threats. Just one subscription blocks all the malicious links, ads, and trackers on all your devices. It also alerts you if someone tries to steal your data. Not impressed? Well, wait until you see the lightning-fast speed it brings to your streaming and gaming experiences. It will even help you save money when signing up for your favorite internet services like Netflix, Spotify, and Amazon Prime and it can help you save money when you're booking plane tickets and hotel rooms. The best part is that everything will cost you only coins. You can get a three-year subscription for all your devices for just $1.39 per month, and you'll get a 30-day money-back guarantee. It is the best VPN deal on the market. Do you think we could get you all these amazing survival strategies from around the world without the best VPN provider on the net? Of course not. It allows us to bypass geolocation restrictions so we can get the most incredible survival stories from all over the world. It also comes in handy when we want to watch all our favorite series, no matter where we are in the world. Time is running out, so grab Atlas VPN for just $1.39 per month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Click on the link below and never be unsafe online again. But when it comes to roller coasters, even the best VPN provider won't get you to safety, but these three stories can help. Number three, the dangling child. May 30th, 2019. It was a normal day during spring break at the Lightwater Valley theme park in Yorkshire, UK, when a mother and her six-year-old son boarded one of the park's roller coaster cars. The passengers were attached to the carriage by a safety bar. Some people recalled seeing that the child didn't appear to be safe behind the lap bar. When the ride began, a few seconds later, the child slid out of the seat. His mother started screaming for help. Other park visitors saw the little boy dangling outside the ride, and they alerted the ride operator because he hadn't noticed the emergency. The operator activated the brakes, but it took about 10 to 20 seconds for the car to stop. The child let go and fell about five meters to the ground. The child was transported to a nearby hospital for treatment, and luckily, he only had non-life-threatening injuries. Investigators discovered that the park's operator breached safety regulations by failing to inform the child and his mother that he should be wearing a seatbelt, as the restraining bar was not enough to keep him safe. Fortunately, the child survived, and the park was fined over $480,000. Yes, 
That's how failure to comply with safety laws can make a safe ride deadly. Number two, the mind bender. Remember Rod and his friend David? They were thrown out of a roller coaster car in Edmonton, Canada in 1986, along with two other passengers. Sadly, David, 24, Tony, also 24, and Cindy, 21, died in the accident, but Rod survived. He recalls that as the ride started, he felt the car rocking on the rail, so he held on tightly to the handle. That may have saved his life because a few seconds later, the car was going 100 kilometers per hour when, as some reports say, it hit a pillar and derailed. The four youngsters were thrown from the carriage and fell to the ground. Rod's legs and back were crushed and broken. Doctors even considered amputating his legs, but decided to put in some plates. Amazingly, after six months in the hospital, Rod healed. He's a grandfather now, but suffers from chronic back pain, and he says he has remembered David, Tony, and Cindy every day of his life for more than 30 years. But before we move on to our final story, let's look at what was behind these horrific accidents. The mind bender had been serviced and checked the same day of Rod's accident. When he got into the car though, something didn't seem right. It was swaying, rocking on the rail, but no one said anything. Also, as the Lightwater Valley theme park ride was about to begin, some passengers recall feeling some concern for the six-year-old safety. He was riding loose behind the safety bar, not wearing a seatbelt. So remember, it's crucial that you speak up if something doesn't seem right or you have any safety concerns. Your warning can save someone's life, even yours. Number one, the pinball fall. Unlike these last two incidents, when Amanda Bosnick rode the Daytona Beach roller coaster in 2018, everything seemed to go smoothly. Her seatbelt clicked into place and a park operator checked it but she remembers that the car was going faster than she was comfortable with. At the first curve, she felt the car was not fully attached to the rail. She began to hear metallic screeching and people screaming. She held on to the handle and prayed for it to end. But seconds later, the carriage derailed and she was thrown into the air. Other passengers saw her bounce around the structure from pillar to pillar like a pinball. Finally, she hit the ground. She suffered bruises and cuts all over her body, a concussion, and broken teeth, but she survived. Investigators discovered that authorities had pointed out safety problems, such as excessive corrosion, two years before the accident. Although those complaints did get addressed, Amanda insists that something must have gone wrong, as she ended up in a terrible accident that nearly cost her her life. That's why conscientious maintenance and constant servicing are required to avoid roller coaster accidents. Unfortunately, roller coasters aren't the only amusement park rides that can kill you. Have you ever gone down a water slide? It was fun, wasn't it? But if you weren't careful, you could have lost your head. It happened once on one of the largest water slides in the world. Want to know how? Then keep watching here on How to Survive.